guys so you saw how this all goes together we've got our cooling fan right there and then this is our inlet so if we want to charge it using um, 120 volt AC then we can just do that right through there and then we've got two 120 volt outlets right here um, you could probably fit at least two more on this side of the pack out kit all right guys full disclosure on this EcoFlow Delta unit they did send this to me for free um, the deal that I typically make with most companies like this is that if I like it, I will make a video on it. If I don't like it, 
then I will not make a video on it. So on the screen here, you can see that there's 81% battery left. This here says 99 hours right now because there's nothing plugged in. But if you plug something in, it'll basically kind of estimate how much battery power that you have in terms of minutes and hours left. And then on the right here, it says input and output. So you'll basically be able to see how many input watts that are coming into it. If you have a solar panel hooked up to it, or if you're plugging into the wall or your car charger, below is the output. So you can see how many watts are being put out of the unit when you have something plugged into it. So they've got two USB-A outlets, and then they've also got some fast charge USB outlets, and then also some USB-C outlets. So on this side here you can fit up to six AC outlets and if you wanted to run something off of a car outlet then you just plug it in right there. So we'll go over charging this unit in a second but you just basically plug in a cord right into there for your AC and then for either the solar panel or the car charger so if you're going to plug it directly into your car to charge it then you plug it right into there and that is a XT-60 outlet. So like you saw in the intro videos you can use something like a sawzall so if you've got a lot of cordless tools, you can just plug right into this and charge your cordless tools uh, pretty well anywhere that you go. Now I have tested this unit out with a 15 amp miter saw, um, which is well within the output capacity, 1800 watts of this unit, as well as this 15 amp chop saw. But when we start it up, this is what happens. So you can see there that it overloads the unit. And the reason why that happens is that the inrush current of the saw when the motor's starting up is greater than the surge capacity of this. So the surge is up to 3,300 watts. And one way that you'd be able to mitigate this is that you'd either need to wire up a soft start into the motor of this, or there are some units that I've seen that actually plug into an AC outlet like this. You could plug in this chop saw, a miter saw, a planer, right into the side of the unit there uh, with a the soft start and that should prevent this from happening. So I'm definitely new to some of these portable battery generators. Um, I've just got this plugged into the wall right now over there, and you can see that at 82%, it's still gonna only take about 30 minutes to charge this to 100%. So you can see that there's about 680 watts uh, coming into the unit. So if you were to compare this to the Goal Zero Yeti uh, 1400, um, if you had that plugged in with a wall charger, it would take 25 hours to charge from 0% all the way up to 100%. If this unit was at 0%, it would take about 1.7 hours to charge from 0 all the way up to 100. With a unit like this and why it works well with something like a packout unit is that there's no gas, there's no emissions, there's no maintenance, there's none of that kind of bullshit with it. It's actually quite light, it's about 30 pounds um, so it's lighter than most generators and I think the goal, the goal zero Yeti is 43 pounds so it's 13 pounds lighter as well. This one is $600 cheaper uh, compared to its competitor. So the unit has 1260 watt hours of storage otherwise known as 1.26 kilowatt hours worth of storage. So if you had something that runs on a thousand watts you could run it for about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so in more layman terms, if you wanted to run like a standard refrigerator, um, you'd be able to run it for about 10 to 20 hours. Um, if you wanted to use a 1500 watt frying pan or maybe an instant pot or a toaster oven, um, you'd probably be able to run it for about an hour or maybe a little bit more than that. So where this unit really starts to become cool is that you can certainly charge it right off of a solar panel here. So it just comes with an adapter, so you can use any standard solar panels and it just hooks into these MC4 connectors right here. And then that just plugs right into the unit right there. So this is just a standard 305 watt panel. So you can see we're bringing in right around 270 watts and it's saying that it's gonna be fully charged in one hour. If this was at 0% and you had 400 watts of solar panels going into it, it would charge up in about four, four and a half hours. So an interesting idea and something that I think I'm gonna implement is that you gotta think of your work truck. Say you mount either a solar panel like this or a flexible solar panel like the peel and stick ones. You can mount that to the roof of your work vehicle and then have the lines coming into your van and charging up a little unit like this. So it comes with another adapter if you wanna plug it right into your cigarette lighter. So it looks like right now it's kind of limited right around 100, 130 watts or so. Um, so obviously it's not gonna charge as fast, but if you need to charge it while you're driving somewhere, 
then you can just plug it right into that cigarette lighter. And the last little cool mod that I want to show you guys is that this is called the Cord Cobra. So these products are actually designed by a young entrepreneur. He's 23 years old. He's a mechanical engineer and he's got into basically just fully started going full time with doing these 3D printed mods for the packout system. So his company name is Packable Tool. There will be links to everything down in the description box below. But this is called the Cord Cobra. He's got also the, the level lizard. So if you want a two foot level or a four foot level um, integrated with your packout system, then he's got lots of really cool little mods like this. So this holds an extension cord, which is really perfect for a portable battery generator. And just keep in mind guys, that a lot of the links in the description box and in the comment section, those are affiliate links. So I do earn a bit of a commission on it, but it helps me do cool projects like this so that I can show you guys hopefully how to do things right the first time instead of you having to spend money and waste money. Awesome guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. We'll keep going with the house build. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not so that you can stay in touch with that. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon.